I actually used to get criticized a lot कि ये तो सब कर रही है आप इतना सब कुछ क्यों कर रहे हो आप एक चीज़ डिसाइड करो आप एक चीज़ करो आप सिंगर भी हैं आप डी जे भी हैं आपको अब एक्ट्रेस भी बनना है आप क्यों कर रहे हैं एंड बी लाइक बिकॉज आई फील लाइक आई एम एन एंटरटेनर एंड आई फील लाइक इफ आई एम गेटिंग दीज अपॉर्चुनिटीज आई एम रियली ब्लेस्ड आई शुड मेक यूज ऑफ दैम Hi this is Praveer and I have got with me someone who has been the collective crush <laughs> of so many boys who became men like me back in the 2000s <laughs> yes i've got a very amazing uh, sophie chaudhry with us listen i really wish i knew all these people who were crushing on me back then i wish that was the one reason i wish we had social media cuz today i get the messages i'm like why didn't i get them then then do you realize that you've been working for the past 20 years in this industry by the way no because i it shocks me when people say that it doesn't feel it but i guess i kind of started when i was studying anyway mm -hmm. um my first album with my girl band came when i was in in college so sansara. i've been yeah sansara so that happened when i was in college but when someone tells me i feel like i've just been working for 5 years at the most i can't understand and then when people tell me you've done all of this i'm like i have like it doesn't feel it by the way i have to give a trivia to everyone out there that India में सब लोग को ऐसा लगता है वीवा वॉज द फर्स्ट गर्ल बैंड बट इट वॉज नॉट इट वॉज नॉट इट वॉज हमें कॉपी किया इट वॉज बैंड सॉन्ग्स वर रियली बिग लाइक वी हैव टू सॉन्ग्स वन वॉज कॉल ये दिल सुनाए वन वॉज कॉल हबीबी and they were smash hits but we broke up the night we were shooting habibi which was the saddest thing oh. we actually split up as a band because i mean honestly girls can't tolerate each other after a point and that's the truth of it and uh, yeah so that was that really we split up and then from 3 we became two so jo shows ho rahe the us time pe teen ladkiyan thi fir achanak do ho gaye aur fir bachi ek <laughs> so suddenly it was like me doing the shows for the girl band i was like where's the rest of this band so mujhe sunni wo gana bhi aa gayi hai sun raha something like that Right. I It wrote it. I was 17 when I wrote that song. Kya baat yeah, hai. I know. Us time pe original music ki bahut qadar hoti thi. That brings us to uh, your latest single which is uh, Gori hai. Gori hai and yeah. amazing again a very iconic uh, 90s song. Yeah. It is jo Amitabh Bachchan aur Jaya Prada ne pictureize kiya gaya tha by the way. Yeah. आज का अर्जुन फिल्म में से। I know if you actually watch that video because इस इस प्रोजेक्ट में जो मैंने ये बनाया है जो मेरे कोरियोग्राफर और डांसर सारे थे they were between the age of 19 and 22 तो उन्होंने तो ओरिजिनल कभी देखा ही नहीं। Exactly। तो जब मैं उनको दिखा रही थी तो वो रहा this is the song this is because it's a real gaon ka gana aisa kuch karna hai yeah they were like it's gaon ka gana where jaya prada ji is chasing uh, you know uh, bachchan saab yes. and you know unhone itne bade choode pehne hue aur gaon ki gori wo bani hui hai puri and all the like my team was just like this is the song isn't it your song i'm like it is but this is what i've done with it they couldn't believe it because wow. it was so different but that was iconic in its own way yes, of absolutely. course yes absolutely uh, what is your thought process when you decided ke okay mujhe is gaane ka recreation karna hai hmm. what was your or idea or approach in your head you know the amazing thing is i got the rights to do this 6 years ago oh and uh, I, we made a version with my music director vikram montrose who who is really famous for kar har mein aane oh yes he made that and many others so this is very out of the box for him तो हमने बनाया एक वर्जन जो बहुत ही अच्छा था पर मैंने उसको बोला नहीं अभी नहीं रिलीज करते अभी रुकते हैं क्यों I didn't feel independent music was an exciting phase 6 years ago okay. and I also felt that we could do something better with the song. Right. Now in the last couple of years everything has changed so much with yes. trends and you know this and that. And suddenly this year what happened was it's really funny actually. Earlier this year I did um a version of U Antava in Telugu on my Instagram which randomly blew up. Like it went nuts. Mere fans ko to pata hai main gaati hu jinko nahi bhi pata tha oh my god Sophie Chaudhry to gaati hai aur main itne saalon se yahi kar rahi hu bhai. So suddenly I realized I need to literally give myself a kick and get a single out and I remembered hmm. I have Gori hai and I just remembered that we had started to create this very cool hook music. Hmm. Um and I I just called up my my music director I said we have to do it and he was like banana hai I said banana hai that's it. and we worked on it and i was very clear that i wanted gori hair to have that nostalgic vibe yeah. which is obviously what bappida had created absolutely it had to have that but it had to have something new yeah. it had to have that ability to trend be cool at the same time so that's what we really worked on we were very conscious of what we were doing and it almost sounds like a new song i mean apart from it the does, hook yeah, line yeah the, i mean the rest of the the composition is completely new yeah. because uh, i know that when karan johar heard it um, when i showed him the video he absolutely loved it he said sophie this is one of my favorite songs ever and at one point i thought i would do it but i didn't know who had the rights and we never took it further and he goes i love what you've done with it he said i do have one question why didn't you keep that line in the original jo aata hai wo um apna bana ke hame chhod na jana i said karan it's 2022 <laughs> 
every girl we like apna bana ke chhodna jana please leave i have four more waiting in line <laughs> i'm like this is 2022 no girl is going to sit there and cry and say oh my god mujhe chhodna mat it does not work that way right. when he's like you have a point i'm like yeah so we've changed all of that the love language has changed it has years, changed right, right? So, yes. i mean of course it's changed in the last 22 years the love language language is completely different so so that's really is it 22 or 32 years what is that song nine oh my god oh my god it's 32 years old the song <laughs> Damn. So you can imagine how much the love language has changed. So yeah, but um, but we have kept the original melody intact, but the rest of it is different. You've been doing so many amazing recreations, and mm. you know, back in the day we used to call it remixes. We don't care what it called. Yeah. Uh, but uh, is if there's one song that you really like and you wish K R is ka ek recreation or remix or reprise version banana ho, so which oh would be that song? God. Maybe two songs. Tell me about two of your favorite songs. One of them I can't tell you because I'm both probably doing it. तो वो अगले महीने जब भी अगले महीने ये नहीं ये साल में तो definitely original आएगा फिर ये बाद में आएगा तो वो अगर हो जाए that's really that's a really good question because you know even for एक पर देसी I know people think it's crazy but I listen to about 300 songs before I decided it would be एक पर देसी it took me wow. really long um, to decide but I I love all those um, those Govinda Neelam songs. That's the one. That's a, I love that song. You do that remix. I think it could be a very cool remix to do. That was good. They even did that other one. Main pyar ki pujaran mujhe pyar chahiye. Like they did some really cool songs around that era. So usme there could be a little something worth working ah. out. But ab maine apna idea sabko de diya. Ab Tanish banayega baith ke. This is really upsetting. <laughs> Tanish, if you make this without me, I will kill you. <laughs> So you want to sing any other song that that you really want to sing uh, and make like a you want to sing more of that song? What? Main pyar ki puja. No, I like this one. Main se mina se na sa ki se, main se mina se na sa ki se, na pehl maane se dil bahelta hai mera. That I remember. You know why I remember this? Because I used to watch it every day before going to school. Yes. Yes, it was my favorite. In the so, early eighty seven, eighty nine, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to watch it before going to school. It was like my my song. So yeah. I'm not telling you any more songs. मुझे पता है सब बैठे में देख रहे हैं कि अभी क्या बनाने वाली है नहीं. मैं अपने ideas नहीं दे रही हूँ, but ये अच्छा idea मिला. Talking about love languages, I I again want to tell you that uh, back in the day when you were a VJ, yeah. And you had this amazing show called MTV Love Line. <laughs> <laughs> जिसका हम लोग बेसब्री से इंतजार किया करते थे शाम को पांच छह बजे या सात बजे आता था नहीं नहीं वो लेट आता था लेट आता था हाँ वो बस आठ नौ बजे के बाद ही आता था because वो love line था you know like it was border line थोड़ा सा explicit yes थोड़ा racy type का था in that मैं 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 लड़की को कैसे approach करूँ that was very bold for that time you know like without तो भाई हमारे लिए तो there was no Instagram at that time there was no good quotes or there were no motivational speakers on social media who could solve love problems तो हमारे लिए तो यही थी <laughs> जो आती थी उस शो पे और लुकिंग ऑल गॉज एंड टॉकिंग लाइक एंड लेजिट things about love and but problems. i don't know how we were doing that first of all my co-host was cyrus brocha, cyrus brocha. who was only interested in cricket and food he was not interested in anyone's love life solving anyone's problem if any guy was having a problem yaar kyu piche pada watch the match like that would be his advice i'd be like cyrus but you used to give legit yeah advices. i used to give legit advice overshadowed by cyrus brocha but it was a really fun show and amazingly sometimes people actually wrote back and say thank you your advice worked and i'd be like really It actually worked. It worked. It worked yeah. for me. Really? Of course. Oh my god. Okay, good. I'm really happy. I'm really happy it worked for someone, clearly. <laughs> But I mean, you have seen it all, right? I mean, right from singing to being part of a girl band, which yeah. broke up thoda sa jaldi. But uh, being a solo artist after that because yeah. you started releasing songs and then the MTV DJ, then doing movies, yeah. then hosting and then doing what not. You've done it all, Sophie. In these twenty years, how does it feel? <laughs> like I said, it feels like I'm just getting started. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's funny. But in, in, back in the day, when I would be doing all of these things, and especially when I was doing movies, huh. I actually used to get criticized a lot. कि ये तो सब कर रही है. आप इतना सब कुछ क्यों कर रहे हो? आप एक चीज़ decide करो. आप एक चीज़ करो. आप singer भी हैं. आप DJ भी हैं. आपको अब actress भी बनना है. आप क्यों कर रहे? And I'd be like, because I feel like I'm an entertainer. Yeah. And I feel like if I'm getting these opportunities, that I'm really blessed. I should. make use of them hmm. but it really became a hindrance in my movie career because i used to get typecast in one second hmm. and they couldn't see that i could do anything more 
But today it's so different. Or yes. 10 years ago, it was so different because you have an Ayushman who was a VJ, an actor, and he sings. You have a Farhan Akhtar who's a director, actor, and he sings. You have a Karan Johar who, who hosts, directs, produces, and has tried acting. I'm like, today, everybody is yeah. multidimensional Absolutely. and they're appreciated for it. And quite frankly, it's the only way you're going to survive. Absolutely. Because unless you have more to offer than just one talent, you will not survive very long, right? So, yes. I mean, I again, maybe I was ahead of my time, but I used to get criticized then. But today, I'm really grateful that I stuck to my guns. And I do, I guess I kind of created my own niche. Yes. My, like, Sophie Chaudhary's niche, like, not to be that person who talks about them in the third yeah. person, but yeah. I made my own niche. You know, like, so if you want me for something, you will specifically come to me for mm -hmm. that. And I'm really grateful that that happened. I think I got linked with one or two of my friends and we would just laugh about it. We're like, seriously, like, yeah, he mila tha aapko, but yeah. Because, um, mere bahut sare karibi dost mere bare mein kehte hain ke on Instagram, you're selling false goods. Actually, tum bahut zyada sidi saadi ho, Instagram pe kuch alag lagta hai. Like, kya lagta hai? They're like, you're hot, glamorous, sexy, yeah, wo, but actually, you're like, I'm just like, I'm very straightforward, yeah. I'm not interested in controversies. And especially not in today's day and age. Yeah, but chaha ke bhi, yaar, log to Haan, wo bhi chaha ke bhi. Haan, I know, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just very discreet. Maybe you're a very good girl, that's right. <laughs> Maybe I'm a good girl or I'm discreet. My friend Haan. Manish Malhotra says, never trust an actress. I'm like, but I'm not just an actress. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> also, coming back to uh, the film career of yours. Yeah. Of course, one of your most iconic role is from Pyaar Ke Side Effects. Yes. And Baby Girl Volume 3 yes. uh, was uh, the character and it was basically because you had this huge brand image of yours because yeah. of your successful songs. Yeah. Tell me about that film, how did that <laughs> film happen and because it was very very highly appreciated role of yours. I know. Which became uh, quite a memorable role from the entire film as well. I know it was really bizarre for me so I when you know before I, I actually did my first movie I went to a few offices, I met directors, producers and had a pretty bad experience. Hmm. So I said I will not go I will hit and then I will call my phone. And that's how I became a VJ and Ikbar Desi became so huge yeah. that David Dhawan, David uncle called me and said, ah, I'm launching you in a movie and Vashudi is producing. And yeah, my dream was that I was a Govinda Karishma fan. David Dhawan called me and phone karke kare, main launch. I didn't ask what the script is. After that, I found out that there are 5 and 4 girls. I didn't ask anything. Pucha. He's like, we're shooting in France and Italy. I was like, let's so that was my debut film, Shadi No. Shadi 1, number one which was Sanjay Dutt, Zayed, who had just come off Mehu Na, Fardeen. Yes. It was big. Yes. But that picture was not the result we expected. Uh -huh. So then I was offered Pyaar Ke Side Effects. Now when that came to me, I was told it's the role of an item girl and I just said no. And the producer said, please just listen to the role. I said, no, I don't, I don't want to be an item girl in a movie. Then I'll never do anything else. And she was like, just listen. And I'll never forget, I think I was getting ready to go to Fardeen or Zayed's wedding, one of them. And I had rollers in my hair. And the director has come home to meet me. And he's walked in, Sarkit Chaudhary, and he had a bound script. I'm telling you, I saw, I was, I said, you have a bound script? He's like, yeah, it's all written. I came off David Uncle's set where dialogue was written on that time. Pe I was like, dialogue? What are you writing? You know, set pe likh rahe And suddenly, now I got this bound script. I was like, I need to sit. I'm like, I'm in rollers. He's like, it's fine. So I sat and he narrated PRK side effects to me. And I loved it. And he wrote the role keeping you in mind. Yeah, which was really wow. crazy for me because I was like, how have you? he was like, this is only for you, you have to do it. When he narrated it to me, I fell in love with the movie. It wasn't so much about my role, the movie. And I promise you what he made was better than what was on the page. Wow. He did such an amazing job and it was so great working with Rahul Bose. He was very cool and it was a very different experience for me. And I think that was the first of the the Hinglish yes. cool movies to come out, you know, it was it was groundbreaking in itself. So I was so happy to be part of that. And then honestly, after that, it was really hard for anything to live up to that for ah. me. You know, after that, any role that I got again, it was the same old hot girl, same this, same that. You know, if you're in the movies, if you're hot, nah, then you can't have substance. Because clearly, if you're glamorous, you can't be intelligent. In nah? our movies, it was like that. You can't be both. Well, it must be frustrating you like anything, right? Oh my right? God. Like literally, it would be like, I have a brain. They'd be like, don't use it. You know, like literally, it was like that. It was so hard. And I'm so happy that things are not like that anymore. 
like today, like you've got OTT and yeah. you've got various platforms where you don't have to be typecast, you can be seen in various roles mm. and things. But it was much harder than, which is why when people say you never really pursued movies, I was like, because there was nothing for me to do in them. I'd much rather be on stage in front of a live audience, making great money, performing, doing what I love, than being stuck in this box and not being able to get out of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know, I guess the most fun I had was was probably after the Side Effects was doing Manya Ala Reala Manya Ala with yeah. John. And then funnily enough, I was like remembered for my little role with Akshay in Once Upon a Time in Mumbai. And I'm like, why? Why would you remember anything? But they did. Yes. Which is fine. But for me, I, I much prefer doing videos. I love doing videos. Amazing. And also you are one of those people who have seen it all in terms of like the, the platforms of entertainment has also changed over the years. Lot, right? Social yeah. media has become such a big thing now. Yeah. You know, coming from that uh, MTV era and yeah. you know, the 2000s and all of that. Are you have you have you adapted yourself and have you become uh, conscious about the numbers, about the views, about the you know, things yeah. that go around? I think you have to be aware of it, but then at the same time, I mean, more than YouTube views today, it's really about reels and are you trending and that's what's really important for a song like for a song to be able to pick up like are people listening to your song mm. are they making videos on your song that's when you know now that Gori hair has hit a hundred thousand reels I'm like okay clearly people are making reels on this song and that's working which is great but it is so different you know and I think that the only way you survive in this business is if you stay relevant yeah. and if you update yourself I'm definitely like I, I've been meeting a lot of influencers which is also the new thing you know like you're making collaborations with influencers and doing videos I mean it's really funny because a lot of them would probably have, have like wanted to be in videos with actors and yeah. actresses and today it's the other way around like yes. we need them to help us promote which is crazy but you have to accept it that's just the way it is and the kind of content that they all come out with and the amount of content I mean I know people make fun of influencers but mm. it's really hard yeah it's re I, I mean I could not adapt not myself easy. to that yeah I cannot I like doing what I'm doing and I can update myself a bit and be relevant on social media but can I create that kind of content every day it's exhausting yeah mm. it is but so hats off to them everyone has their place today do I miss the old days of music videos and music channels? Hell yeah. I mean, that's what it was about, right? That was truly iconic. This is now, I don't think things last as long. Mm. I think I'm still popular because you remember me from Ik Pardesi and Piaga side effects and things like that. No, I remember you because I loved you. At oh, that thank you. I, I <laughs> but but you, so like, yeah. yeah, but today if it was just about me releasing like one Gori hair, like in a couple of months, people would forget because mm. that's what it is today. So you have to keep coming out with also stuff. Also songs are not called songs these days. It's also considered as content. Don't, doesn't it bother you? Yeah, this it does. Content yeah, it does. Songs? Of course, because it's not content. It's an experience and music is so much more than just content it's so much more you don't know how much goes into putting a song together so yeah it, it is but like I said you just got to find your balance you got to stay true to yourself and update yourself and just in just find your balance in the middle right. somewhere yeah. so acting VJing hosting singing and all these things that you do which is the thing that you love doing the most which gives you the most high singing and performing live there is no better high than performing live whether it's at a concert it's a, at a wedding a corporate i mean it doesn't matter hmm. for me being on stage and entertaining an audience is the greatest thing it's what i'm best at it's why i've survived so long yeah. um, on my own terms because what happens is a lot of people you know they only know what they see so if you don't see me on screen it's like you've been missing Actually, no, I've been doing live shows all over the world and that's what I love. So I'm really grateful. I get to do what I love. And then shooting for music videos, songs is, is great fun. Yeah. Amazing. Also, uh, just going to do a little throwback. And now that we do not have the show MTV Love Line, but I'm going to ask you to give one love advice to everybody oh God. who's watching you. <laughs> I'm still single. I don't know if I should be giving it. Yes, advice. guys. So, uh, uh, you know, flashing news that uh, Sophie is still single. So, I'm yeah. Single. <laughs> <laughs> Single and happy apparently. <laughs> Are you asking me a question? You're gonna ask me just, to give no, just give one love advice. One love yeah. advice. Uh, actually, this is really good advice. Um, please never depend on someone else to make you happy. Um, your happiness has to come from you. Never believe that someone else will complete you. You have to be complete in yourself. When you find that partner, it should be a bonus. Like everything should get better with the partner, but it should still be awesome without them. And I think that's when you will have an incredible relationship. That's what I truly believe. Absolutely. Na? That is an amazing, amazing yeah. advice. Yeah. I, I believe that, yeah. Amazing. Also, uh, any uh, fitness tip that you want to give? Because you are looking 
Yeah, yeah fitness is my thing. Yeah, I, I mean, but that fitness is my thing because it's it's my lifestyle. Hmm. I'm I listen. I'm a Punjabi girl. I love my food. I refuse to diet. I refuse to starve. Um, maybe I cut down my carbs before the video of Gori hai, but beyond that, nothing. Um, so I eat proper. I don't deprive myself. How many samosas you can eat in one time? I don't like sitting. I don't like fried food, but I like dessert. I eat ah. my dessert, so I'll so have cake. Khalo? I can have a couple. I can have I can have mithai. I can have gulab jamun. I can have a bite of my tiramisu. I can have a chocolate fondant. I can eat, ah. but I eat and measure. You I don't won't deprive, deprive yourself. I don't deprive myself, but I eat it. The only way to stay fit is to be consistent. You've got to re- work out regularly. You've got to eat like. well consistently and that's it like no going through highs and lows no crazy workout for a week and then disappearing for mm. two weeks it does not work lifestyle so pilates is my lifestyle i swear by it i was there this morning also um and don't skip meals don't starve you got to do something which you can do for life mm. that's it that's my only advice all right lastly i just want to ask you about your upcoming projects any collaborations happening any people that you really want to work with Uh, There's loads of people that I want to work with. There is a collaboration coming but I can't talk about it, but it will be an original song coming. I'm really praying by November December because it's a full on party song. Wow. So we're going to um, meet again, right? Yes, we will this year and I've got another song coming out um uh, which is more of a shaadi song which will be okay. out in October. So I'm excited. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, thank you Sophie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much thank and you thank you for you know, just going down memory lane and talking about those amazing years. Well, I loved it. Thank you. And, I appreciate uh, and that. And I hope to see you soon. Yes, you. you will.